I'm trying to figure out how long this is going to go on for. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live, but well, not live, from a car on a road in England. Ah, and the camera's nearly falling off. We're talking about steady car cam here, and steady car cam is reliant on my left hand right now. And we're going to yoga today. Speed bump. We. Oui. And we've also got something really, really special to collect. Uh, as you know, our friend Felix, who's a giant of a man, not just in size, but in heart. And, and he's a famous artist. Yeah, and he does some very, very unique art. He actually did me a very individual piece last week when I was doing a talk. Guess what? I found a pen. Found a pen? Yeah, cool. close up. <laughs> Close up on the pen, everyone. Woo! The things you find in your car. Yeah. Aren't you lucky you tuned into this video? Yeah, so Felix, he's got a special piece of art that he did for us. He's been working on it for a number of months now. It's been months, hasn't it? It feels like about six months. Yeah, and we are so excited to see it because this is specifically just for just for us and it's gonna go on our wall. It's like a proper shock today though. It's like the weather, it's like what's happened. I know. We've had like such a like a run of sunshine for so long and then it's just like last few days it's just been overcast. Reality check. You're in England, London. This is what you're used to. I thought we were in Spain. Yeah, I thought I was in Mallorca. Yeah. No, it's been lovely though. Comment below, what's it like where you are in the world? Is it sunny? Can you bring some sun over this way? Is it cold? Are you buried in snow somewhere? Let us know below where you are in the world and what the weather's like. We always love finding out where you guys are in the world and just knowing how far this free gang network spreads. I love hearing from people in like Australia and places like that. Yeah, people saying come to Australia. I'd love to go to Australia one yeah. day. The way it's like the other side, isn't it, of where we are and they have winter in our summer. Like their Christmas is hot. Christmas on a beach. Oh, that'd be so cool. We should just like move to Australia for half Well, we were in Florida for Christmas last year, weren't we? That was quite warm. Oh yeah, that was yeah. nice. Walking around in shorts and a t-shirt on Christmas day. And how are you doing, Jojo? I'm doing good. Florida people are gonna come to England and they think, why is the Christmas so cold? Yeah. They're gonna think that. Oh. I, love, I love how you're emphasizing your point with your green pen. <laughs> yeah, I've got a tattoo. Oh my goodness, you just do that. Give me that pen back, please. I hope they Yes. Not. So we're actually quite late for yoga, which is never good. We're late for most things, though. Do you know what people do with late. us? Like, if I'm due to go to my dad's house, for example, and I say I'll be there at two, he just expects me there at three. Yeah, some people actually give us different times. They go, yes, it starts at one. Get there for one, but it starts at two, because yeah. they know we'll be late. You know what? When you've got kids, it's not easy. You get halfway out the door and, like... When you've got Katie. <laughs> I do faff around a bit getting out the door. You do. do. Start conversations with people. Sometimes it's with me, so we're both to blame. Yeah, it's like we start a conversation about like the time that we don't have. Why, is, why are we always running out of time? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be late. Let's really sit like, down and analyse this. Yeah, we start analysing why we're late. And then it's like, why are we talking about it? Let's just go. Let, let, let's Google why we're late. <laughs> That's why oh, there's a YouTube video in it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Should we make a YouTube resource for ourselves and it's just us saying, stop watching this? <laughs> Don't. I've got to drive, Bob. Don't make me laugh while I'm driving. Okay, well then let's let you drive and then we'll get there to yoga. See you there. Driving. In today's vlog. We're here and we're late. Quite late. Shh. Have to be quiet. Shh. So how was yoga, mummy? Uh, well, it was easy because we came like, halfway <laughs> yeah. through it. We got the easy end part, didn't we? Yeah. No, it's really nice. And Felix has got all of his artwork all around the sides as well. <laughs> There's Jojo. He just cleared up everything. He just rolled up all the mat. Thing is, we put his yoga pants on him this morning, but he didn't actually do any of the yoga. <laughs> He's come and just ate some watermelon at the end. Yeah. That's some good watermelon. And check out Katie's top as well. Oh, this my is one top. Of our, this is one of our tops at Ethics. Go to ethics.com to see about these designs. Cleopatra design, which is a collaboration with a guy called Lucas Mack. He's a tattoo artist. Absolute genius, but look what she's done with this. The tassels that came in. She created this last week and it turned all sorts of heads, including mine. <laughs> Comment below what you think of this design if you'd like to see t-shirts like this, this sort of design because we might be doing some different things like this, or Katie specifically might be doing some things like this. So let us know what you think. Should we go see the painting now? Yes, so we're going to go and collect our this, painting. This now. is our grand reveal. We haven't seen it. We've seen bits of it. Early stages. Though. Yeah, but we haven't seen the main thing yet, exciting. so exciting. Oh, wow. There it is, there. Oh, wow. I don't want it. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I was just supposed to be in shock. Jojo, look behind you, man. How cool is that? The layers he goes into, man. 
like the sun and the heart. Wow, so it's taken you about six months to do this, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't been working on it like, the whole, whole time, but no. <laughs> it's kind of sometimes. But you've been like, revisiting again and yeah, again, haven't revisiting, you? Yeah, revisiting, yeah. Had it there in the studio for, for some time, and then at certain points, wow. felt like the right time to do another layer. Yeah, I think last time we, yeah. the only time we saw it, you just had like the, the blue and a bit of the white. You yeah, had all yeah, the yeah. gold and the keys on top as well. I think then the, the, the blue, these like bigger people, and then the heart and the sun and, and the gold. So this is Felix. You know but Felix. For those of you who watch all our videos, you would have met him before. Mm. But he is a famous artist. He's right. going to be massive. So this studio as well, the yoga studio, they've actually got a part now which they've turned into a cafe. It's a lovely cafe which isn't open yet, so you know we're too early. But we're going to revisit here and show you guys everything they have here because it's so yeah. good here. So if you're in West Norwood, come to this cafe. Yeah, anywhere in South London, come down. Big shout out Eddie, who's yes. made this all work. Mango Man movement. Yes. Yeah, Portico Kitchen, plant-based cuisine. We were here just over a week ago and the whole room was bare and the way they've turned this around and made it into such a lovely space already. We haven't eaten in here yet, but we've eaten Eddie's food before yeah. um, and it's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. So we can't wait to come here and have the whole cafe experience. You can come down, you can get the yoga, you can get the art, you can get the food. They're a triple threat at this place. Should we get our picture and get going then? Yes. Come on in. Having to take the painting back in now, it won't fit in the car. Gutted. We'll have to figure this out another day and come back with a bigger vehicle. Well, that was a short-lived bit of excitement. I know, what an empty climax. We're like, yeah, we've got a new painting, yeah, Waited yeah, six yeah. months for this. Ugh. Ah. So it's back on the wall in there. They were well happy to have it back. Were they? Yeah, they were, oh, we get to keep it for longer. So but. we're going to have to either hire a van or get like parcel force or someone to deliver it over to us. Maybe, yeah, that might just be quicker as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to phone Felix and tell him. Yeah, because I don't want him to walk back into the cafe and be like, what, do they not like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they put it back. And I'm like, yeah, just letting you know, we've had to put the paint in back because we couldn't fit it in the car. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know, just in case you came back into the cafe and thought, why is it still there? Okay, no. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot again. Take care, man. All right. Thanks, Felix. All right, then, mate. Take care. See you later. Bye. 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 Should we get back home then? Yeah. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah. See you at home free game. And we're back. What time is it, mummy? It's fruit time for Jojo, isn't it? Hmm. What are you having? Some easy peelers? Yeah. Are they easy to peel, mummy? They are quite easy, actually. Well, most fruits are easy if you've got nails. For me, I think it will be melon time. <laughs> and the start of a movie time, apparently, as well. What are you watching, Jojo? Secret Life of Pets. Oh! Secret Life of Pets? What Don't talk about it, Mum, it's a secret. Oh, right, okay. Speaking of pets, tell them what's happened. Ah, oh, yes, Aragog. Free gang, we've got some bad news. Give Aragog a hug a minute. As you can see, or the cord, that when you pull him, he's, uh, he's coming to that time now in his life where his spider skin starts to sag. <laughs> it looks like he's got some funky haircut. Look. Cool. Yeah, but what it is, is inside Aragog, there's like a ball. Don't ruin the illusion. He's a giant spider mummy. Oh, I'm sorry, Aragog. But like, we've had him for nearly a year now. This is what happens to giant spiders who live in our house. Oh, no, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot with him. Do you know what I think it is? We've rolled him around. <laughs> we've sat on him. We've played football with him. Goal! And I think, like, we should have looked after him more. He's still got a smile on his face, though. The bit at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's like a beard. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't know what to do with him. I think Jamie said we could, there's a, the ball inside. We'd get a pump and pump the ball up again. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Comment below, Free Gang. Does this happen to the giant spiders that live in your house? And also, what do you do when they get to this age? <laughs> Comment below. Right now they're typing, I'm telling you. You can't keep asking people weird things to comment below about spiders that they probably don't have. Comment below if you don't want to comment below. Anyway, talking about large round things, it's melon time for me. Fruit time for daddy, is it as well? Melon time specifically. I've got a choice of three. Come with me on a melon adventure. Come on then. I'm going to call you Melanie. So I've got a choice of three melons. Good one. So what's that? Watermelon. A garlic melon, honeydew melon. I've got a brilliant idea. What? Bring them in the front room. You could do the melon test. Melon test? Yeah, you know. You know the thing. You know the thing. On the back of my neck? Yeah. If I do any of them first time? Yeah, then, okay. you, then that's the one you've got to eat. <laughs> I like how you said the melon test like it's an official thing done nationwide, worldwide. It Come is now. <laughs> melon! 
this is something that um, they do in football, isn't it? Yeah, it's a skill just to show off. It's no use in football whatsoever just to catch a ball in the back of your head. Because Bob used to play semi-professional football. I've still got it in my locker. But you never actually use this in no, your... No, no player's ever used it in a game of football ever. Guaranteed. It's just a skill to show off. Okay, go yeah. on then. Show off. And I've got a bit of a delicate neck at the moment. And these ones are quite hard as well. So okay, okay. I'll let you know free game if I do it first attempt or not. I'm not just going to go, look, first try every time. First try. Oh, that's the first one. Woo! Right, the honeydew is the leader at the moment. Joe just sat there so like intently watching. You can be the audience. So, so is Aragog. What's Aragog doing? Is, oh, is he right. audience as well? Alright, put him up there. No! <laughs> Good save, Jojo, good save. <laughs> I'm going in slow motion. Aragorn, be careful. Next is Galia. Oh, and then go first time. Fail. Oh, that was second time free game. I feel like it's messed up the back of my hair. It has messed up the back of your hair. <laughs> right. Next one. So the oh. one in the lead at the moment is uh, Honeydew. That went first time. Watermelon. I've actually done watermelon bigger than this as well, so no way. I don't believe you. I'm safe. I don't believe you. But it's, it's got more room to wobble around. This kind of nestles nicely in the neck. So it's between these two. I'm going to choose the water and just because we've had this longer and so this is going to be riper. We like ripe fruit. This one could probably do another day ripening up. I'm glad we did the melon test, the fish oil and everything, eh? <laughs> 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 I that didn't work out as planned. This isn't fruit ninja, you know. That was like a fruit ninja moment, wasn't it? I'm going for the big size though. Do you know what? It's really handy. You can just do this with a melon. Eat it like a bowl. Yeah. If you're out and about, they do these pre-packaged ones, don't they? It's like mm. all that plastic around them. But no, just cut it in half and eat it like that. Yeah, it's good stuff. One alone! And we're back in the car again. Yay. What are you doing, Jojo? <laughs> just falling about. Yeah, we've got stuff to do, a few things to do in town. Yeah, we've got to pick up Jojo's lightsaber. For those of you that watch all of our videos, will remember he had a Jedi transformation while we were in Paris, Disneyland Paris. <laughs> but somehow the lightsaber did not make it back with us and we have no, no idea. No, he's lost it. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, Passport control. Yeah, border control. They were like, no lightsabers in the UK, mate. Sorry, get one from Argos. Yeah, so we've got to go out to do that. We've also got to go to the post office because you know what it's like when someone delivers something and you're out. And it's so really annoying. Rude. Yeah. So why yeah. don't they wait outside your door until you come home? Yeah, why don't they? I know. That'd be maybe, creepy. What are you maybe, doing outside my house? <laughs> maybe they've got lives. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Right, should we get going then? Yeah, oh, oh, we've got charity shop as well. Yes. Because Jojo's got a load of toys that he wants to give. Because every, about every month or so, he, he t gathers up all the toys that he doesn't want anymore, and then we buy new toys. Yeah. You gonna go and get something new as well, Jojo? Yeah. Yeah, look at his little, little head that just pokes out like that. Right, should we get going then? Yep, let's go. Stars of the car. Jamie had a bit of a clear out too, so we've got other things to carry, including mirrors, which I find quite amusing. Walk with a mirror towards people and just see how they react. <laughs> Come on. Don't do it, Bob. It's weird. Stop it. You freak people out. I love free game. It is weird when someone walks towards you with a mirror. Do you remember you were doing it at Ikea that time? This is not my first time. That's why I've got experience. All right, stop. No. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping someone will stop and like start doing their makeup or realise there's a hair out of place. <laughs> No, but thank you for, for bringing that to my attention. Jojo, have you found anything good? Some DVDs. Ooh. Home Alone 3. I think you've seen that before, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Look at all those guys. Third, Beethoven the Fool. Wow. I haven't even seen the second. Buy this. The Lego movie. Cool. Wow, awesome. What do you want to look at? Lego. We're just looking today, not buying Lego today. What's that? That's cool. Oh, that is cool. You got your lightsaber? Yeah. What colour have you got? A blue. Nice blue one. Um, what have you got, Daddy? Hmm? Oh, um, it is pretty cool. It goes with his outfit. You just want to have battles with Jojo, don't you? I've got my ninja suit on. Check me out. 
100% organic fossil. Ethics.com. All alone, I've been hooked as well. Again, box right. five. Let's, let's, let's do this at home. No, now. Come on. Steps at the checkout. That's cool. <laughs> Guys. The lady's oh, waiting yeah, for the money. All back home now. We're just tucking into some snack. Jojo, you got some beans there, haven't you? Yeah. Beans full of protein, fiber, good stuff. And you're gonna watch the Lego movie too as well, aren't you? Mm. That was a good find, the Lego movie. Mm. Good, good work. Comment below, free gang, if you've seen the Lego movie. And comment below out of 10 how awesome it is. Because it is. It's 10. That's your answer, 10. And mummy, you're tucking into a bit more than the snack, I see. Your addiction of mangoes. Yep, it's mummy fruit time now. They're going out of season now, so they're not like as sweet as they were before. That's how you know you're an addict. You still go and buy them, even though they're not as good. I know. I, this is an obsession. But the free gang know that. They know that already. I do it have... It doesn't make it... Okay, it was a healthy obsession. I guess, isn't it's a healthy it? obsession. How about we talk about your obsession? I don't have Mr. an obsession. Mr. Bob. I wasn't going to mention this, but... What are you talking about? The thing that I keep catching you doing all day long, <laughs> every day. No, no, we don't have no. to go into this. Turn around. Come on. No. Let's t I want to tell them. I think I'm, I'm actually blushing. Right. Bob has an obsession. I feel like I'm on trial here or something. I've got to tell them because I want to know if anybody else has this problem. No doubt they do. <laughs> it's, it's, get, it's actually getting quite worrying now. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I feel like you need to come sit up here, Bob. I feel like you need to like come bring yourself up. Don't talk to me like you're some sort of counsellor. I need to counsel you. You need to, you need help. Do you want me to lie my head on your lap? Let's talk about how it all started. It was actually free gang. It was your fault. You started this. Ages ago, I said to you guys, we we're in the car, we we're listening to music. And Coming I back said, from the treehouse. And I thought it would be a really cool idea to put in the comments all your favourite songs. Then we'll make a free gang playlist. Check it out, it's in our playlist. But I thought it'd be a really cool idea to have everyone's favourite songs. And now it's become like my favourite play playlist. Every time we're in the car, we listen to it and we listen to it at home and everything. So we were listening to it in the car the other day. And I remember like when you guys were suggesting the, the songs to put on the playlist, I kept... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I kept seeing like, why they keep suggesting songs from the same film? And it was like, the greatest showman man songs. <sighs> Look at his face already. So I just put all the songs in there. They, it was all the different songs from all this film I put in the playlist. So yeah, we're in the car listening and then these songs are coming on and then Jojo's like, oh, I want to watch that film, mummy. I was like, oh, all right then, let's watch it. So we were around Benji's house not that long ago. Yeah, up in person. And we put it on the big projector and watch it. But you were working at the time. So yeah, you... I had my headphones on editing, so I wasn't really so, engaged. But I think you caught snippets of it, didn't you? Enough to get me hooked to like, well, yeah. need, I need to watch that. I was actually saying, I was like, I feel like I need to watch that film. You're like, didn't you watch it already? I was like, no, but I feel like I need to. So we sat down, we got home, we're back home. We all sat down and watched Please. it. Please. Right? And uh, it's nice, you know, it's a great film. Everybody likes that film. Stop dragging this out. You're torturing me here. And then the next day, right, we wake up and he walks into the front room. The first thing he says to me is, The Greatest Showman. It's such a good film. I didn't say it like that. And then, like, he's nearly crying. Like, it's through, a really through, good film. Through happiness. And, it, and I was like, really? He's like, yeah, yeah, I just love it so much. It's a pretty then he was up till two in the morning listening to the other songs. Not just that, I was like researching behind the scenes stuff and finding out about the original people it's based on. All sorts of stuff. It's really interesting. You should check it out. And ever since then, I just see him just going like that. Like, just sitting there going. And then I'm like, which song is it? Because he's just got the songs constantly playing. I've got a 24 hour playlist. The whole time you've been talking, all I've heard is... But it's a blessing, it's truly a blessing to have this playing in your head 24 hours. And this is a great thing, it just switches from song to song randomly. Like you'll literally be like, what is it now? And I'll be like, it's that one. This is me. And Jojo's here to share my uh, heartfelt story of uh, how I got to this place. But yeah, I don't know, I just, I just, I just really like the film. And all the songs and everything. The songs, are, it's got such a good standard of songs. Comment below, what is your favourite song from that film? And if you have not seen that film, do yourself a favour and go and watch that film. You may not end up being like me and having it in your head all the time, but if you do, then you're one of the lucky few. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it, Jojo? Good. It's a great film, isn't it? It's, it's brilliant. I think it's a really good film as well. I'm not to the degree of obsession that you are. And I don't, I'm not... I'm trying to figure out how long this is going to go on for. Is it just going to be one of those things you just 
get obsessed with it for a little while mm. and then stop? Mm. Or is this going to be like, is it going to be like this forever? See, Jojo's had to run out of the room now where I think he, it's too much for him. I think yeah. it's because like, you come from like an acting background as well. And it's like, you you like always wanted to be an actor and the doing theatre and the stuff like that. The thespian in me comes out. Yeah, so I think this is just like everything you love all in one thing, isn't it? Like theatre, song, dancing. But I've watched other films like that and they've not had this sort of impact. Grease didn't do this to me. I liked Grease. I and mean, Grease is a classic. What about High School Musical? Never watched that. You're never going to watch High School Musical then? No, I don't think you'll be as good. There's a lot to do to top The Greatest Showman. Thank you so much, Free Gang, for leading me to this path indirectly. I might watch the film anyway, but... Just that sort of never, never enough. My goodness. Right, the other day I was, sit I was sitting on the floor playing with Jojo, right? She goes over to the docking station, puts that song on, and then it's just dancing around like this. Around the no, room. no, no, no. You were! Don't you say, were. don't. Oh. No, you were. Dancing like what? Who's dancing around like this? <laughs> oh, time. It was better than that. <laughs> You destroy me. Why are you making me bare my soul like this? I wasn't going to mention this then, but I'm like, Bob, I think you need help. I don't need help. I just need to listen to the stuff more. <laughs> I feel like I've been restricted because you keep catching me and I'm like, I can't watch it. She walked in earlier on today and I was on the laptop and then I had to close the lid and she was like, were you watching one of those songs? I was like, it's like he's got a naughty little secret and he keeps it's going. It's my guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> he's going like, yeah, two in the morning watching all the songs. That was that was on the, in the aftermath of watching the film. I was very high. You know, sometimes if something keeps you up because you're excited and you're buzzing, it was like that. And I wanted to find, I wanted to connect more with the characters. Find out who Jenny Lind is. What a voice. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you know how I can help Bob. Do you think he should just go cold turkey and stop watching them? No. We like turkeys to be warm and alive and cuddly, which is basically meaning, let me listen to it as much as I want. Jojo, what are you doing? Playing with my cars and watching that. Watching the Lego movie, hey? What are you doing, Daddy? Oh, oh really? Oh, really? I was gonna ask you if you wanted a cup of tea. I'll go great with this actually. <laughs> Which one is it now? Never enough. Never enough. It's not just the song's really good, but it's like you feel his desperation to succeed and it, it, all his hopes are pinned on her being good and then he's like, wow, she's really good. And I'm like, yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of go for it every time. Never, never. See what I mean? Oh man, it's good. See what I mean? If you're saying something, I can't even hear you. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean, Free Gang? See what he's like? No, Free Gang, you're with me. Come on, let me alone. Where's the tea? I thought you were working in here. Jojo, no. has Daddy got a problem? Yeah, he's say? got a very big problem. What? <laughs> no! Yes! Oh, look at his face. Look at his face! <laughs> right, plug the headphones back in. Go away. Yeah, I need... I need Mm. There's, only, there's only so much I can take. There's only so much I can take if you're making fun of this. I don't, this doesn't happen often. Aww. Just because you finished your mangoes. <laughs> mangoes and listens to the things that he's interested in, right? And it's just the song itself. It's like saying, you know, I just want this with you, the person I love. But without you, then all of these things I could have, they're not enough. You know, they're not enough for me. I need you. And it makes me think of how I feel about you. So if you want Aww. to mock that, then... You are the cutest guy around. Oh. You know that. You just are so cute with this. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you saying something good? I'm just saying you're just so cute with this. Oh, okay. They're just in my head all the time. Come alive. You need like some kind of pillow behind your head to block them out, don't you? No, I need to. <laughs> Hold up and I'm leaving it, so that's nice. Okay, guys, Jojo and Katie, they're going to start doing some painting now. We're going to round up this video early, though, because I've been trying to watch my clips of Great Showman and Katie keeps filming me. <laughs> I keep catching him on camera, sneakily watching them. No more. I need to watch it in peace. I it's need so my time. It's so cute. No, I do love it, though. I think it's really cute. Yeah. I'm not really mocking I know. you. You're only... It's a good film. It's a good film. Everyone should watch it. Everyone shouldn't develop weird obsessions with it, though. Hey, it's not weird they're, they're good if you don't develop an obsession from watching that film then i think there's something wrong with that <laughs> something really nice though we didn't film this but it was really nice because bob was showing me some of the behind the scenes uh, yeah. footage that they have when they first su sing the songs I basically, I, I basically know everything about the film now and i've seen everything and behind what's the, the lady's name with the bit with the beard um kayla siri or something like that kayla yeah Seeley. and uh you basically there's some behind the scenes footage when she first sung the song in front of the other cast jojo's playing in the background you can probably hear that 
Yeah, um, there's not an explosion going on in the house. <laughs> Yes, yeah. so she sings the song in front of the other cast members for the first time and she's so nervous and so uh, she sings it so beautifully and then she goes over and holds Hugh Jackman's hand. The room erupts. Oh. It's just all these people just like crazy. I was like, crying watching it. Yeah, yeah, oh man. Yeah, so. I've had more goose pimples in the last few days since watching that video than I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah. I, I play one and I'm just like, oh, here we go. I, I might as well just transform into one giant giant goose pimple we joke about obsession and stuff like i just i just really enjoy it i just really really enjoy it and i can't help going back to the things that i enjoy which is a healthy thing to do it's not damaging me in any way right it's, it's, there's a lot worse things you could be obsessed with i think that's proper cute it's oh. cute yeah, I'm cute. Uh, just before we round up this video though, guys, I'm going to give some shout outs to some of you lovely free gang who've been requesting them. So if you can hear this over the explosions in the background from Jojo, shout outs to the following people. Geo Specific 12, eat some non-vegan cheese, you've changed your name. Sarah Chitty, Kayla Osborne, Chloe Frank, whose birthday is on the 15th of August. Hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday, Chloe. Amber Polly, Molly Gallon, the videos and vlogs of Lily, Peter Greenwood, Grace Moa, whose birthday is going to be on the 16th of August. Hope you have a great birthday. Birthday Grace, Katie Baker, Callum Akers, George Clark, Super Zombie Gamer on Xbox, JJ Joseph, Sophie Ellis, Sersha B, Amber and Fran of Sassy Squad. Well, Sassy Squad was the account that requested it. I'm assuming you two are part of that squad. And the last shout out to Perfect Pineapples, Lauren Dossiter. Nice name. Pineapples are perfect. Thanks so much, guys, for requesting your shout outs. If any of you guys ever want a shout out, leave it in the comments below and we'll try and get it done in an upcoming video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you're thinking, this family's cool, I like people's obsessions about musical films. I think I'll give them a subscribe. We'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos. You don't want to miss out. Who knows what obsession of films I'll get next. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. It's everything you ever want. It's everything you ever want.